I wonder if you've ever played the game where somebody gives you a bag and asks you without looking to put your hand in the bag and think about what it is you can feel inside. Sometimes if you go to a museum or exhibition, they have boxes too. that say, put your hand inside. And dependent on the sort of place, you're often quite scared. You put your hand inside and you think about what you can feel. What I can feel inside is soft and squishy. I'm not sure I quite like the feel of it. And then I pull it out and it's a bee. Do it again. Now there's something really hard. I hope there's nothing in here that actually is alive. Mm. I wonder if you would have the courage to put your hand into my bag. I'm not telling you what's in the next one, but I hope it's not going to jump out. In the Bible, one of the Bible readings after Easter Day, we hear that Jesus met his friends in an upper room. They knew he had died and then suddenly he was there again. And they were a bit confused and they were a bit scared. And then Jesus said to them, touch me, put your hand out and touch me. I wonder if you would have had the courage to do that. I'm not sure I would have. And I wonder what they thought they were going to touch. Did they think they were going to touch mm, somebody that had died and was alive again? Did they think it was a bit of a ghost? Did they think it was a bit of a trick? They needed to have the courage to reach out and touch. But I don't think Jesus was just trying to sort of say, look, I'm human. I feel just like you. I think when he asked them to put their hands out, he was asking them to have courage. Courage to follow all his teaching. I wonder when the last time was that you had to take courage in your hands to do something. You might be learning to swim and you might be doing the bit that suddenly you think I've got to take these armbands off or I've actually got to put my take my feet off the floor and you hope and hope and suddenly you have the courage and you find you're swimming. Or you might now it's sunny be learning to ride a bike for the first time and suddenly you're aware that somebody has let go and you're on your own. He's all right, he's all right, keep going. Wow. Watch out, George. It's taking a risk and suddenly you feel so good about yourself because you were prepared to do that. When Jesus asked people to touch him, I think he was saying, I want you to know that God is with you all the time. And perhaps you can know that by praying. A little bit later, you might be asked to say a prayer in your assembly or wherever you're watching this from. Sometimes it takes courage to perhaps put your hands together and to ask God for something because you can't see him. And it's a bit like 
putting your hand into something and not knowing. I wonder today if you have the courage to say a prayer and to talk to a God that you can't see. <laughs>